guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and I just want to show you what I'm doing. So as you know, um, I've done up this candle here uh, for money workings, and I've added herbs to it, bank dirt, and espresso to speed up the working. I've written my intention on the outside, um, as it is in future tense, as it's already happened. I need to replace $1,000 a month in income. Now I've made up this hoodoo lamp, so I have a candle burning here. I have flame burning here in the hoodoo lamp. Inside of the lamp I put all most of the same herbs as this candle, but they're going to burn through the oil and I'm going to have that real beautiful visual. Okay, We've done up this lamp for about $20. Maybe a little over with the herbs. Last but not least, I am burning the money powder that we stuffed inside of this green candle on a coal disc down here. And another thing I wanted to show you is Sometimes these candles, because you've stuffed a bunch of herbs inside with the either um, chopstick or the pencil, now sometimes the wax will start to flood and you just get a spoon and here I have a little, it's for money, so it's got green wax on it, it's a Las Vegas spoon, it's from Haras. Um, and it was from a time I was winning a lot. Uh, so I use this for my money workings for my wax candles. Um, so then what I do, let me get some more of this herb on here. I'll be honest, this um, incense I made doesn't smell particularly good, so I put a little piece of frankincense on there. But it is burning, I have the fan on, and it's sucking out of my bedroom window. So it's putting that smoke of money outside so that I can bring it in, okay? Um, and I've dipped some of the wax out and done a bit of a scry, okay, in the wax that I had to take out. So... I, I don't know what you guys see, but I see a snail with the two like little feelers here and the head and then a shell. So that's what I saw. So I wanted to tell you, I'm trying to ask in my wax scry for some further help of my money workings. How can the figure of the snail help me figure out uh, a little bit more of what to do? Because we can do the spells, but we still have to do the work. We still have to figure out where to get the work, where to get the money, you know? Um, so, since I read that Wax Cry as a Snail, uh, I've got out my book called Beasties, and it's the A through Z Guide to the Illuminating Wisdom of Animal Spirits. So let's read about the snail for a little bit. Snail is independence, adventure, ease, and gentleness. Uh, Silent benefactor of the forest, snail glides in to remind you that all you need to do is a little bit of what you love every day. As you complete small accomplishments, doing things you enjoy and come naturally to you, you will feel good. A snail simply goes about her business, breaking down organic matter in the soil, helping to recycle nutrients from rotting leaves and other materials on the ground. It is what she was born to do. <clears throat> take stock from the things that you do spontaneously that bring you joy. Snail encourages you to share these skills and proclivities with others as they immunize you against fear, greed, jealousy, and anger. There's also a secret benefit of sharing. You will get a helper's high. That's the paradox of service. Why else would snails leave a transcendent trail of glittering goodness behind them? Service in the spiritual practice that will serve you. Quietly, sweetly, and steadily, like snail, go out in the world and give in to your longings. It can be with something as simple as arranging flowers from your garden in a jar and delivering them to a neighbor's porch. Once you understand the benefit of generosity, as the snail does, you'll never get a let a single day pass without sharing what you've got. I'm definitely a sharer, so I can um, I can connect with that. Uh, aligning affirmations. Proceed gently. Easy pacing trumps speed. Inches add up. Carry on. Master invisibility. Sneak under the radar. Conquer the world quietly. Manage vulnerability. You say where, when, and with whom. Expose retreat. Chakra. Heart chakra. To bring balance to this chakra, encourage circulation in your life. Uh, put cash in several Chinese New Year red envelopes or other envelopes you decorate with notes of encouragement. 
and leave them in public spaces where people could find them, bus stops, bathroom stalls, park benches, or hand them directly to people with a kind word, poem, or silent blessing. Beastly practice. Snails are never hurried and never worried. Do one thing that you would normally do quick, quickly and instead take it at a snail's pace. Cook a meal, mow the grass, do the laundry. Sensually enjoy the process by breathing in and out and being entirely present for each movement you make. Vocation. Snails have specialized tongue, or radula, with tiny teeth that tear food into many more manageable small pieces. <clears throat> like the snail, you have the ability to break things down for others and simplify things. Use this ability to improve process at work or help other things bring simplicity to complex things. Wellness. The trails of slime that snails create reduce friction so they can move more quickly and smoothly in the world. To improve your own ease and experience of the world, practice finding alignment within yourself. Look for evidence that the universe is giving you exactly what you need right now. Make a list. Say thank you and as my friend Max Daniel says, keep calm and ask for more. Creativity. Use the spirit <clears throat> Use the spiral of the snail's shell as inspiration for a project. Inward moving to outward. Outward moving to inward. Follow the labyrinth. Relating. Snails do not communicate with sound, but with pheromones in their slime trails. Don't use words to improve your relationships. Wonderlessly follow clues others have left behind instead. If you will share a space... Place a few drops of lavender or other essential oil with calming properties on a tissue and diffuse to bring calm. If snail is your core beastie, you have the particular talent of being able to feel at home just about anywhere. Love. As snails grow, so do their shells. Each year they expand their shells to accommodate their growth. A partnership must change and expand, too, to accommodate the growth of the individuals. Examine the existing limitations of this relationship and beliefs that hold it back. Expand and grow. If you are seeking love, it is time for you to expand and reach out. Well, that's cool information. I enjoyed reading, reading that bit of this uh, Beastie's book to you about the snail. Um, because I really enjoy this book and I enjoy wax divination and if you ever need to get air onto one of your cold discs I'm seeing that look this works really well it really gets it fired up let's see what I can Ooh, yeah so that's how I'm using my old vintage thrift have a beautiful day you guys thanks for joining me Jen the taxidermy which while we do as much money working as possible because I really need the work and I know that most of us do too